Hey, haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chu. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come round. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Speak some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know, use lead. I, I don't care, I just want my room back. Your pimp threw you out, that it? Where are you going? Nothing to sit back here. Don't lie. Judy's friend. Yep. Stop telling every joy toy you need to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be off. You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guests. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. What's up with the heist went? Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself, too. Boo hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. Do this for fun, talking around in circles. Trying to make this simple. Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Okay. Let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clept during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. Might know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. And where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower? <laughs> Luxurious. Just let me know how she's doing, okay? Give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? 
You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Look. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? Hm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me.
Kako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Thank you. 
Sharp and snazzy, Josh. <laughs> I don't believe it. You gotta represent, right? 
No, like, but for real now. Why you always Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws. Ruled Japantown. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pool, sold sex, and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Isn't that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about preem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a cop thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on laws. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. What's about Andrew? He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known him my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, <sighs> typical. 
Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, Kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I was... A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Mendez is right. You gotta toughen up. Tell the world to go fuck itself. Right. So I'm just supposed to forget everything I've seen. A kid. Even Andrew. He's gone, and you're here. It's time to stop living in the past. You won't change anything by sitting here alone and wallowing in misery. I think we're done here. Suit yourself. Barry, he finally decided to get his shit together. For cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what exactly did Barry tell you about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. Think he's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly, he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Uh, give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Put together, 
The gross income of these companies runs in the tens of trillions of euro dollars. The Something feels off here. You don't say. I don't mean the wreck, I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur up and drives away from the scene of an accident.
Be. Good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Call in to offer my condolences. Hmm? Offer your condolences. Ay, Jesucristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, vi.
in a hurry. Heard you home. Already? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me.
We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall? V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Mm, Rayito de Sol, what's wrong? Hanging in there somehow? Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. An offerendo? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm hmm But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago, he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. 
What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Nah, Jack was... Jack was a little of that, too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I, I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your Ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Got to be hanging here since 2020. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. 
Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. <laughs> This'll be... fitting. story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle. A home. The Wells family hideout. Stronghold. Something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only belt? ever heard about him. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. True memento, this. An aquarium? They used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like... Mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Where are you going? Actually, the... Uh, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... 
packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. Beat the shit out of both of us. Half my fault, half his. We hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, we were eating dinner at Mama Wells's. It turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. 
But most importantly... Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he, he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching, bet just about now he's flipping them all the bird. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Tomb. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful friend that we gave him. Pour you another for Jaquito. See, the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. Campos this is what kept him going. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. Poor. I wonder if he'll be a up after you die. Oh, Chingal. Don't go start in something. Amen, sister. Not today. Weird, being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells! He rest in peace. Good for now. Thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, right, give me a break. All right, let's go. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing with. Gonna miss him. I already do. Me too, chica. Ah, me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. 
I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you, but I really can't accept this. I hope you can understand. Cuida te vi. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. Pour you another? For Jaquito? See, the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. They's what kept him going. Poor. Amen, sister. Weird. Can't shit. Oh, chingado. Don't go starting something, eh? Not to... Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. I think we might know. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. Yeah, I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. Good for now. Thanks. See? All right. All right, let's go. <sighs> Farewell, sir. Have you? When you get to... Jackie Well. A proud son. <laughs> I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. She's a strong one. Lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Here to say goodbye to him. I'm here. So. I. That's. It. I don't. Jackie. Yes. Power. This. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. 
Cuídate, Vi.